What's up guys, good morning, another beautiful day. It's Saturday, welcome to the weekend. Hopefully you had a great week. I hope you crushed your goals this week. Don't forget weekends, you can also crush your goals, so don't forget to work out, go to the gym, write out what you're grateful for, really get after it this weekend. Forget about the charts for a minute, but today's exciting because I'm gonna show you the charts and I'm gonna tell you exactly why I believe that Mullins dot could hit $1.08. So don't forget to smash that like button before we get started. Think about subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. I make Mullen content every single day. My goal is to update you on the newest news, the charts, and really my belief in the company and what they have going for them. Before we get started though, don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. It's 3.40 in the morning. I'm fired up to be here with you guys. Let's now look at the charts. Now the first thing we gotta look at is this right here. Do you see this ascending trend line? We have just been chilling right above this this entire time, okay? This is really important because Mullen's gonna make a big move from here. We're either going to, and I know a lot of people don't wanna hear this, but we're either gonna break down below this and we're gonna go much lower and the Patreon group knows exactly my price targets if we do go lower. So join the team, six or $7 a month. Check out the links down below. But if we get a move up, This is very bullish because we have been trading on this ascending trend line for days now, for almost a week. So we've just been hanging out in the 21, 22 zone. And if you see my videos prior to this, I've been saying this is a very good zone in my opinion. I'm okay with this area right now, especially since we haven't had news. We had a dramatic drop. You can see right here for a couple weeks from about 44 cents all the way now to just under 22 cents. But some positive indicators that I'm looking at is the RSI right now has made a new higher low. Uh, We have positive divergence in the last week, which is very good. The stochastic is pointing up, but it is starting to curl over right now. It needs to make a decision on what it's going to do. But right now, we're still very oversold with the RSI hanging out just under 34. We've seen highs on the RSI um, as high as, I mean, pretty recently, we've seen about 72 right? So we have plenty of room to go up. So this is the reason why I'm still very bullish on Mullen. Um, I'll get a little bit into the company in a minute, but if we're just looking at the charts, this is looking good so far. So relax, have a sip of coffee. And this price target of $1.08 is honestly conservative in my opinion. If you believe in Fibonacci retracements, this is telling us that this would be a full extension of the Fib retracement from the old high, right? Not the super high, not over there at 60 cents, but I'm just taking it from about 44 cents right now. Okay, where we closed. We closed about 43, 44 cents. Now we've come all the way down to just under 21 cents, you can see right here. So when we start to move up, I could see us go over a dollar to being a dollar and eight cents. Again, why is this? Well, the RSI, we're at 33, 33 right now. The stochastic is very low. We have a lot of room to go up. Um, It's just looking good. Again, we're trading above the ascending trend line down here at 22 cents. So with any news, anything at all, which is interesting because truck week is coming up. Now, I'm not saying truck week is gonna be the week, like this is the thing we need for Molin to shoot above a dollar, but I think this is, we're going in the right steps, right? I've always said Molin is building, building, building a solid company, and this is just the next step. The next thing on the timeline that we gotta get done Hopefully we get some news. I am 100% confident. Well, let me let me say 99% confident that we will get some news in March. I think it will be positive news. I think Mullen will go up from here. I don't think we're going to be in a downtrend for the rest of 2023. I think Mullen will be a successful company. So when you look at the charts and you look at the news and you look at everything that Mullen is doing, this makes a ton of sense. So yes, I'm very confident that we could get over a dollar, especially before September. I believe we'll get the extension. I don't think that a reverse stock split is going to happen in March. And if you really think about Mullen and how big of a company it could be, I want to show you one more chart right now, tell you exactly where another place we could go before we reach a dollar. So right here, this is telling us if we take the old high since we've been in this for the last couple months, right? We hit a high of 60 cents. And if we take 60 cents all the way down to the bottom of 18 cents, this would retrace to the 1.618, right? 
So I just showed you the four over here. This is the first level, the one. And this usually always gets hit with how stocks move. Just saying, just, just with what I've been looking at with stocks and how I analyze the charts, this usually always gets hit. So guess where this is? This is at 86 cents. I've made videos before saying we will hit 86 cents. I'm very confident that we will hit 86 cents, especially for Mullen stock. Again, we need good news. We need to make the right moves, which we have been, I think, with the partnerships and the deals. We just gotta be patient. So again, guys, the charts look great. The news looks great. What Mullen has been doing over these last six months has been absolutely amazing. Don't forget all the deals, the partnerships. You have to zoom out. You have to look at the big picture. But at the end of the day, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. I'm just giving you my opinion, telling you exactly what I'm doing. You have to do what's best for you and your family. Don't forget to smash that like button. I appreciate you guys for staying and watching this video. I'll see you maybe later today. I might make another one. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. And I hope you enjoy your weekend.